A very good morning to all my dear class 9 students. Today, we are going to learn a new topic from your biology portion of your science textbook. The new topic that is that we are going to discuss today is taken from your chapter 3 of your biology. The name of the chapter is Diversity in Living Organisms. And the topic that we are going to discuss today is on Kingdom Animalia. Now let us look first into what is this kingdom animalia. In the previous classes, we have discussed on the five kingdom classification of living organisms. Those five kingdoms were kingdom monera, kingdom protista, kingdom fungi, kingdom planti, and today we are going to discuss specifically on kingdom animalia. Now, despite more than a million types of animals inhabiting the earth the animal kingdom is characterized by the following common features what lah ni hasta pertik dan sibun jat ki jat marat ki jat jing thau ki ba ki long ki kenja marat ani ki pertik dan bon ba hanre yang ki jat marat ki badan ni sa pertik ngila ban ngila ban categorize ki la ni ngila ban pet banya pet bahai ki hakini ki ki features badan harum bening kong Animals are multicellular, eukaryotic organisms. Kemudian kita borak kijak merat, kilang kakamet kejengki, kilang kidan sibun teliki cells lain kilang multicellular. Next, they lack photosynthetic pigments lain kilang heterotrophic. Dah kapan kau kilang heterotrophic? Kemud kilang kau kijing thong di bajar ngam kibasina lah kejeng kijing bam. Hendai kidan kam ban bam kijing bam kibadan nasabar. Umday kau kijing thong kibalak ban perform photosynthesis. Hendai kimalak kimarat kim kimalak ban perform photosynthesis. Number three, animals possesses the power of locomotion. Kemud bang borak kijak merat kilak ban ki nak kawi kacaka syakawi pat kilak ban kidan kau per power of locomotion. Most animals have a nervous system. Kamu lebur lagi jadi merat. Nih jadi tahu kira ni kaneka nervous system. Kamu yau bodlom ni kitiat, kiti nerves. Alright. Now, in sexual reproduction, animals produce haploid male gametes, sperms, and haploid female gametes. Over. Kamu lemot. Ba ada kira merat kaya syangka kaya penmi yang sembai. Ini sembai lah jauh kaya ini kaya male gametes, lah ini kaya sperms jauh sembang. Ba female gametes ni over. Nampak lah ada kiri kentai. Tak ini kilang ki, tak ki kerak common features ki bawa barok hijat merat ki dan kerana kingdom animalia. Now let us first look. Now let us look into how do we classify lene kumun ya classify ya kerana kingdom animalia. The kingdom animalia is divided into ten phylum. Kerana kingdom jom ini hijat merat, hijat merat barok lak lak pihak ya ki hakis sepuh teliki phylum lene hakis sepuh teliki benda. Then phylum. This phylum, in order of complexity, is given below. Kini ki phylum, kini sepotili ki phylum jom kini 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 pihak kini kini jadi merat baru ada sub teh kini jadi sepotili. But ni pet mentah iway pet iway kat kong ka jing long complex ke jom kini ada ibalong simple hadut balong complex tau. First phylum Porifera, next phylum Nidaria lane Selenterata, phylum Platyhelminthes. Phylum Nematoda, lana ki lana ka Phylum Askelmintes, Phylum Annelida, Phylum Arthropoda, Phylum Mollusca, Phylum Echinodermata, Phylum Protocordata, but kado do ka Phylum Vertebrata. These are the ten phylums that we classify Kingdom Animalia into. But in today's class, we will learn only the first. We will learn first only the first five king phylum. That is Phylum Porifera. Phylum Nidaria, Phylum Platyhelminthes, Phylum Nematoda, and Phylum Annelida. The next five we will discuss in the next class. We shall now look first into the first phylum, that is your Phylum Porifera Leneki sponges. And now let us look into the characteristics of this Phylum Porifera. They are mostly they mostly live in the sea or marine. They are marine. Kamu tahu kini kita jeng tahu boleh juga kini kita filem porifera dan kita sponges. Borak borak kini kita porifera kita dan berita durian kita dan hatu durian. Orang dia are marine. They are sessile or stationary 
they are sociable or stationary kaba mod kini ki jat marat ki long ki jat marat ki ba ne abe chi jaka ki bam ki chani chatai bat ki dan bai apa duriam kim la ban yat na koi ka jaka shui pat re ki long stationary kaba ba ki ne abe ak joka jaka they are radially symmetrical kaba mod ba kini ki jat marat la dam tang da phia ai kini ki jat marat na la ban phia ai ki ha shibon tili ki benta bat kini ki benta ki long kajo bet ladang apya yaki kum kelang radial kum ka circle ladang out ika 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 ball ka bapulun ika tu ka ball bapulun ngala bad out ha kibon benta bad kini ki benta baro kini long bet ka jo next the body is porous kum baka mat jong ni ki jat marat kalong karan thliyo kiran ki pores pores kini ki thliyo ladang ki pores they are called as ostia or ostium kini ki thliyo bora na ka mat jong ni ki kini ki porifera ladang ka ni kini ki mat ki khat ki sponges kini ki thliyo ladang khat ki ki pores bad kini ki pores ladang khat ki 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 ostia ladang ki ostium body has a canal system for circulation of water ka mat ka phat jong ni ki sponges ki bora na ki phylum porifera ka mat ka jong ki ka dan ni kanika canal system ha ka ba ka um ka la ban toit na bar na bar ba chapo jong ka mat jong ki ni ki sponges pat kum juru ban mi biang shabar na po jong ka mat la ni ka dan kanika circulation system la ni ka canal system ba ka ni ka rung ka um jong ni ki mara ki bora na po duriau porifera lacks a nervous system ka mun ba ki ni ki mara ki bora na ka phylum phylum porifera ki mun dan ni ka nervous system la ni ki mun dan jabing la ni ki mun dan ki nerves For example, spongila, spongila, but u sicon. Now these are the pictures of animals belonging to the phylum Porifera. As you can see, this is a picture of a sicon. These are your examples of your sponges. They are present at the bottom of the sea. Kini kijat merat kijat napa kani kahendo kabaran napa kababenta kaba kadu du kaba bottom ni kaba long shapo adu jongka durian. These are a few examples of animals belonging to the phylum. Porifera. Now the second phylum that we are going to discuss is your phylum Nidaria or phylum Cylinterata. This phylum we can either call phylum Nidaria or phylum Cylinterata. Now let us look into the characteristics of this phylum. Most of the most of the forms live in the sea. Kamu baca baru bon nak kijat jing tahu nak kijat merat kita berada di kafilum ni dari alam ni kafilum silen terata. Bon nak ini kijat merat kita dan baca apa durian. Tissue level of body organization with distinct body level. Kamu baca part kerja ini kijat merat kita berada di kafilum ni dari alam kita dan kamu baca kafilum hamlong kafilum hamlong organize kijat ban ni kita merat kita berada di kafilum porifera. Kamu baca part jing kiri kalau ada dengan kita. Tissue level of body organization. Nanti kami akan pasang ini kalau lapan divide lagi into different tissues. What are tissues? Tissues are nothing but a group of cells. Now they are radially symmetrical. Is the same. Kau orang hujung untuk mengatai yang ini ki filem porifera. Kami akan pasang ini kalau orang pelun, anda ni pihak yang ki aki arbenta. Ni lapan pihak yang ki aki arbenta, aki bone lukam. The body has a single sac like cavity called cylinderon with only one opening. Lain kerana kita faham jom ini kita merat kita dengan kita filem por cylinderata kita ni kerana kita thleo kerana kita thleo lain kita pula lebih kuat kita lain kita sac like lain kita pula kemudian kita thleo lain kita kerana kita pula kerana kita cylinderon. Kadang saya minat kerja tengok orang cylinderata. The body bears special stinging cells called nidoblasts. Kami akan faham jom ini kita merat kita dengan kita filem nidoria kita ni kini kita cells kita kita berkenta. Kisah sebab kita kena bayar banyak daya ni ujat merah. Jadi kini kisah sebab kita kaki nido blast. For example, kini kita ujat merah kita berada di kafilam nidoria kita kaki jellyfish dan ni u hydra. Kini arti kita dapat faham yang ni u ni bahagia orang blue di u jellyfish, bahu ni u merah pada apa u di u hydra. Hakini kita ini merat, kerana respiratory but excretory system kini dah they are lacking. Respiratory system and excretory system are lacking in this phylum. Now we shall look into the third phylum, that is your phylum platyhelminthes or phylum. This phylum is also called as flatworm. Mostly these animals are parasitic. Kamu tak kira merat kira orang ni ke phylum bunsian kia depend lagi kia shania hakui pak kita ini merat. Bukan yoi kan? Jing bang pojok kila ni kilang parasites, kiri parasitic. 
They are triploblastic. Then you don't get three germ layers. Can you get three germ layers? Kata kata ectoderm, kata mesoderm, kata endoderm. Then you can snap. Kata kata asap yang kiri, asap yang kiri lagi kiri bentar. Kini kiri bentar kerana triploblastic. Ibu kini kiri lagi bentar. Kata 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 ectoderm, kata mesoderm, kata endoderm. The body is bilaterally symmetrical. Kamu ada ya kamera kepala kejengki ni nak bentia. Ya kamera kejengki tengah kiri two equal half. Saya tengah kiri ar bentah. Ni nak bentia tengah kiri ar bentah. Bagi mula bentia ya kiri kaki wipat kiri bentah lain sah sah bentang mula ni nak bentia kiri equally into two equal halves. The body cavity or cilium is absent. Absent. Kamu ada ya kamera kepala kejengki ni kiri jadi merah. Ini kiri flat worms. Amu dan kereka kepala. Dan ni kah thalia, dan ni kah body cavity. Dan ni kilang a silomet, kamu boleh kira ni kah body cavity. Flim cells are the organs of excretion. Kini kita jadi merat anda kira syabar, dan kira excrete, kira pernah kah ni kira cells, lagi banyak ni kira cells, lakukan ni kira flim cells. For example, tip worm. Lani u nyang star, but u planaria. As you can see in this picture, this is a picture of a tip worm, and this is a picture of Planaria. This is also a picture of a flat worm. These are few examples of flat worm. The, these animals belong to the phylum Platyhelminthes. Now coming to the food phylum, that is your phylum Nematoda, or these animals are also called as round worm. Now these animals are parasitic or free living. Kemudian bagi ni kita marah kita boleh nak filem nematoda kita boleh nak parasit dan kita boleh yes not bagi kita kerja marah banyak kerjing bang dan kita boleh im freely kerana dia yes not bagi kita kerja marah. They have a narrow cylindrical body. Kemudian bagi kita kerjengki kalau lingkat, bagi kita kerjengki kerjeng kalau pelun kemu besar kerana kerjeng pelun akan kita kerja pakai kerjengki. They are triploblastic. Kamu boleh kira dengan tiga jam layers: endoderm, endoderm, mesoderm, dan ectoderm. But kalau unsegmented, kamu boleh bahagikan mereka pada kejungki. Kim dan kini segmen. Kini melakukan pihak ini itu segmen. Jadi kalau terlibat, kalau cylindrical, kamu pipe. Next, the body has a cavity called pseudo cilium. Kamu boleh bahagikan mereka dengan kerana pelan dan kerana terlibat kamu boleh bahagikan mereka kejungki. Bagi kerana terlibat dengan kerana body cavity, kamu boleh bahagikan pseudo cilium. Complete elementary canal from mouth to anus is present. Kamu tahu? Kini kita merat kita ni kerana elementary canal ni kerana 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 Kiwe, kiwe, kita boleh nak pakai macam ni, merah. Now coming to the last phylum for today, that is your fifth phylum, that is your phylum Annelida, or segmented worms, or meaning the animals belonging to this phylum, they have segments in their body. The body consists of rings or segments. Nak macam apa jenis kita merah, kita boleh nak pakai phylum Annelids, kita nak kenal kita segments, nak kenal kita ring. Which we will see when we look into the pictures. These segments are called as metamers. Kini segments kita beran kini kini berkini kini merat kita beran dengan filem annelid kita kita lakukan kini kini metamers. True body silom or body is cavity is present. True body silom or body cavity is present. Kemudian kami akan pergi ke jungki ke dalam ikan ikan. Thleo kepadam kepalam true. Walakat ikan ikan body ka body cavity ikan ikan true body silom. They are triploblastic and segmented. Kamu boleh kira ni kini kiri three layers, ka endoderm, mesoderm, dan ectoderm. But kira ni kini kiri segmen segmen kejengki. Kira ni kini kiri bentah, kiri bangi lapan pihak, kiri segmen kejengki into segments. Excretion occurs through structures called as nephridia. Kini kita di mana ada kiri excretion, ada kiri cabar, kiri perform the process of excretion. Kiri kiri perform ni kiri process of excretion. Da link bah kini kiri kiri jat kiri jat Structures kita boleh nak kamera kerja kini, but kini kita structures ni group of cells nak kahwin kini kita nephridia. For example, uwe earthworm, uwe udah ujat merat, ubah dia kahwin kah filem annelid. Next example is your leech, lani u thlim, u thlim uwe kita kini kita atlet example kita boleh dia kahwin kah filem annelida. Now with that we have come to the end of the lesson. Now it is time for you to note down your assignment. For your assignment today, I want you all to answer the following question in your exercise copies. 
question number one mention the characteristic features of the following with at least two examples mention the characteristics of the phylum porifera with two examples phylum nidiria with two examples phylum platyhelminthes with two examples phylum nematoda with two examples and lastly phylum annelida giving at least two examples Now with that, we have come to the end of today's class. I hope you all have paid really good attention to the lesson today. I will see you again in the next class. In the meantime, thank you. Have a great day ahead and take care.